Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Adrian here, bringing you guys another video. So if you're new to the channel, my name's Adrian and I've been building a new eBay store for the past two months from the ground up from zero listings. And now I'm at about 310 listings and I've been listing about 20 items every single day. I currently have a four point, like a 4% sell through rate, which is really good for my size store. Um, so that means I'm averaging about five plus, I'm averaging over five sales a day, which is really good uh, for a store my size. Um, and it's all from experience. I've been doing this for three years. Um, I did clothing when I first started and then I moved into video games and built a over six figure business for two years doing video games. Um, so I did six figures, you know, for two years I did. Uh, like a hundred thousand my first year video games and then the second year I did over this year um, about a hundred and forty thousand dollars in sales just doing video games and now I'm moving into clothing and I want to this this is like gonna be my business that I grow I want it I want it to be a million dollars a year um, plus but currently my goal is to do a thousand dollars profit every single day seven days a week so that's what I'm starting off with. That's my goal for right now. I'm currently not, I'm not even a quarter way there yet. Um, and that's the beauty of it. That's why I enjoy doing this because it's, it's a process every day. It's, it's something new. And, uh, I'm just trying to build a strong business and, uh, I want to buy a house. There's all kinds of stuff that I want to do, but I want to make sure my business is steady and, 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 uh, you know putting out the right numbers hopefully hire some people and i just want to do it the right way that's the way i want to do it uh, that i feel is right and i want to build a big business and uh start other business ventures you know what i'm saying so i'm not going to bore you guys too much with that let's get into the haul and i hope you guys enjoy i hit a jackpot at, at a thrift store and i'm just this is why i do this man it's exciting it's freaking amazing um it's not nothing that I'm going to make hella money on, but it's just, this is the kind of stuff I just love finding. It's just, it's why I thrift and it just brings so much excitement. And, uh, this is why I do this stuff, man. That's why I love it. So smash the subscribe button, comment, like all that good stuff. Let's get to the haul. All right, guys. So here is everything. So a good amount of stuff here. Uh, so we're going to start it off with some Carhartt pants. You guys know, I love picking up Carhartt. Look out for anything Carhartt, man. I pick all of it up. Um, these are some nice carpenter pants. Uh, got two pairs of those. I also love picking up jerseys. Uh, this is a Mike Baby uh, Reebok jersey. Um, this will go, just needs a little wash, but it has some markings on it. Like, But I think it should come off if I soak it in OxyClean or something. Um, and I should get like 25, 30 bucks. Here's a Mount Rushmore shirt. So all these t-shirts that I'm going to share with you guys, I paid like four bucks a piece. Um, this one was five. But anyways, uh, got one and we got two. And then I found a lot of the mountain shirts. Um, some of them have some flaws, like some holes in it. Um, to be 100% honest, I just grabbed all of them. Um, I paid four bucks a piece on them. And I'm hoping to get like 20 bucks a piece. But on these ones... To be honest, I probably would have let, like, I would have probably, like, left some there. But I was kind of rushing, and I got excited, and uh, I shouldn't have did that. But you live and you learn. Uh, but anyways, we got one here. We got two, and a lot of them are good condition as well. Like, some of them have no flaws or anything. Um, so here's another one. Nice bison, but this one has some flaws on it. Uh, you can see some fading right there and then like some marks right here unfortunately this is an older one though it is vintage usa so maybe it'll still sell um, i'll still throw all of them up no matter what and then here's another one here nice american bald eagle um pretty nice one here and then we got this nice indian one really nice with the horses right there and this one is vintage that one has a whole uh, or it's not this one's not vintage, but still really nice Here's a nice one as well This one's actually pretty good condition And we got this eagle one 
So some really cool shirts, but you can see like the discoloring on the, on the, and then a little hole right there. But still cool, like even if I get 15 bucks a piece, I'll be happy. This one I found at a different store, but it's like a nice little frog. Uh, this one's good condition. And we got this nice bald eagle one. So since the prints are really nice, um, I think I still should get at least minimum 15 bucks a piece plus like $2 shipping. That's what I'm going to ask minimum on them. Um, and the more nicer ones, probably 20 bucks. Here's another nice one. This one has a little mark right there. But like, to be honest, like these shirts, I feel like little stuff like that gives it some character. Um, and if I personally wore these shirts, like it's not my style, but like I wouldn't mind if there's a little mark or a little hole. Like I feel like it gives it character. That's just me. So if you're into stuff like that, um, I'm sure you can relate like just little stuff like this like I don't know me personally like I wouldn't really care to be honest but you know everybody's different so it's probably just gonna sit a little bit and find the right buyer um, but anyways yeah we found a lot guys here's one really good condition really nice and then there's more this one has some holes down there uh, I don't think this one is vintage no but still really cool uh, print, so nice wolves. So that's all the mountain shirts. So I paid four bucks a piece on those. Um, to be 100% honest, if I knew some of them had the flaws, I probably still would have picked them up just to sell them for like 15 plus shipping, but we'll see. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Then we got this really nice Guy Harvey uh, button up shirt. Keep an eye out for Guy Harvey and also this brand right here, uh, Fisho or whatever. Um, but this is a nice print front and back and uh yeah should get like 25 for that maybe 30. here's a nice air jordan flight uh crew neck nice columbia fleece keeping out for polo um like rugby style shirts these do very well this is a size small so it's not going to go for as much but i, I know for sure it's going to be like 20 bucks at least but if it was a bigger size more than the 25 to 30 plus range Patagonia. This is like a Hawaiian button up shirt. This is a minimum 25 bucks in my store all day long. Uh, 511 Tactical. I love picking up this brand, keeping out for 511 Tactical. Their pants, jackets, button ups, all that stuff really moves. Here's another good brand, Pendleton. This is Surf Pendleton. So this is a minimum $25 shirt. And then we got a nice fleece, vineyard vines vest that's a minimum 25 plus bucks here's a good brand to look out for dna that's the first time i've heard of this brand uh this is i'm not exactly sure how much this will go for but i know minimum 25 plus and then here is another nice vest this is orvis so orvis does pretty well that's about 20 25 vest now the bolo of the video i got two of these jackets here and the brand is called Dell of Norway. So if you keep, if you find these, pick them up. This is about a hundred dollar jacket. Uh, retail on these is like 200, 300 plus. So keeping out for Dell of Norway. So we got this one here. I'll probably list for a hundred plus shipping. And then we also got this one here, both the same size, really good quality, very heavy. Um, really awesome, really good quality on these. And if you don't see the tag on the top, make sure you check the side because I thought this one was missing the tag, but it is not. So there you go. So that's another hundred dollars there. And yeah, so let me know what you guys, let me know what you think of the, of the haul. And let me know, would you guys have picked up those mountain shirts for four bucks a piece? Let me know down in the comments. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I am boiling up in here. These damn lights are, like, heating me up right now. You guys can see I'm lightweight, kind of sweating. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know, though, down in the comments if you would pick those mountain shirts up. Yeah, I'm really curious. So hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.